There was once a talented artist who deep down wanted to become a famous author who wrote real tearjerkers like The Notebook. She wanted to evoke a strong emotional reaction from her readers, the way she could only express through words. And over time, she eventually accomplished her goal of becoming an author, making many of her readers burst into tears. Do you know who this woman is today? She writes error codes on Excel. Microsoft Excel can be intimidating and difficult if you don't have someone to teach you the techniques specific to your job. My name is Tim McIver and I'm a full-time school psychologist with a strong background in Excel. The truth is, is that once you learn the information in this webinar, you'll realize just how user-friendly Microsoft Excel can be. Today, we'll be going over relevant functions, formulas, data tables, graphing, and my personal favorite, pivot tables. We'll be spending most of the time on pivot tables and let me tell you something. No data is safe from the pivot table, which is an extremely powerful way to manipulate the data, but it's also simple and requires no knowledge of Excel functions, so it's something every school psychologist should know about. So with that said, let's get into the learning objectives. Today we'll be going over data collection techniques relevant to a school psychologist job, which of course includes relevant functions and formulas. You'll learn how these techniques can help you better organize and analyze the data, and we'll be going over methods to improve visuals for enhanced database decision making, which will be discussed in things like pivot tables and graphing. I also want to give an overview.